Man, 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 man. What y'all seeing right now is the biggest fight in our generation. The biggest fight that we could have saw when we were robbed of it. You know, who who's to say it was it was some people say it was AJ and Eddie Hearn. Some people say it was Deontay Wilder and the PBC. Honestly, it comes down to the politics behind all of it. And y'all can just see we were just robbed again. Again, you, there's people who are laughing and uh, calling Wilder a bum, and you know he only he, he's one trick pony. And then you also have people that say the same thing, say the same thing about Anthony Joshua. And he realized how fake people were when he lost those uh, three fights that he did to Usyk and Ruiz. But I mean, it you shouldn't be. Everybody should be sad, you know. Everybody should be sad for Wilder because he tried. Unlike most people, he tried and he succeeded. He had 10 title defenses. He was a WBC champion. Everybody was ducking him. And everybody was playing a politic game trying to wait it out. And now we'll never get a chance to see the fight. You know, the politics of boxing want to wait it out and try to cash out for maximum amount. But as you can see, you know, with Wilder... He, he's not the same anymore. The same thing with AJ. And the same thing with Tyson Fury. Wilder and Fury took a lot of punishment on each other. But I really hope moving forward, you know, all these boxing advisors and promoters, when you're going to get it, if you're going to get in the game and you got to let the best fight, I, I get it. You got to let a fight marinate for, you know, a year or two. I get that, especially if they're at the bottom. But we were wanting to see the fight all the way back in 2018, 2017. 2018 and everybody that's all people talked about online was Wilder versus Joshua you had a two whole you had two countries going back and forth and people really wanting to see this fight and but yet we were robbed of it all of us so I don't know even uh, even honestly even with Joshua and Tyson Fury is that fight ever gonna happen they didn't fight in a prime so, moving forward, man, Turk Alashik, I hope that him and whoever else going to get the boxing game, they got to let us fans see what we want to see. You've seen Leonard Duran fight in their primes. You've seen Hagler Hearns fight in their primes. You've seen all of that, but they try to, you can't drag it out. And just because you take a loss in boxing, if you lose to the top people, it don't matter. So, I really hope that these, the suits, the people who's really pulling the strings, are able to finally get past that. And same thing with the fighters, man. Listen, at some point, y'all got to come together. Which is why I got respect for Earl Spence. Because even with a Terrence Crawford fight, his team didn't even want him to fight Terrence Crawford. He had to pretty much come out and give the demands. When he was the A-side. And Water and AJ, you know, they both lost out on this. Because here we had we had two brothers that was, that was champions at the same time. And could have unified the first time. And the four belt era. And that just would have been an amazing fight to watch. And both of those, both of them could have easily made easily a hundred million dollars a piece. But you know, th th this is boxing. I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.